Hi, my name is Herman and um, I am making this video in order to show you the reality of a state of mental illness that um, most of you have never seen. I um, have a YouTube channel where I post videos to show people um, what mental illness and in specific bipolar disorder looks like. I have shown um, rapid cycling, depression, mania, a mixed state. The only state I've never really been able to capture is psychosis and the reason for that is when you have psychosis, you're too ill to, to do it. But I am now going to record it so that people can see what it's like to have psychosis. I've not had many psychotic episodes in my life, but I've had them. I've had serious ones to the point that I had to be restrained from hurting myself. So what does it mean to have psychosis? It means that my eyes are extremely sensitive to light. My ears are so sensitive to sounds at the moment that we had to put off all the sounds in the house and put the phones on silent and take the phone off the hook. Because something as simple as a phone call will upset my mind. So does it mean that I'm insane now? To some people it may seem that I am, but I'm not. I'm sane. I'm just very ill. Now I don't want to live, I don't, but I am still alive. So what's to be done when somebody has psychosis? If you're fortunate enough to have a medical aid or to have money. You can go to a private hospital and get medical treatment. If you're not, you can go to a public hospital and maybe wait five days to get treated. And when you are treated, you're treated like shit. Because you know, if somebody's having a heart attack or if somebody is in a diabetic shock or if somebody broke a leg, it's serious. But when somebody is having a psychotic breakdown, snap out of it and carry on. It is the most brutal thing that can happen to a person to not understand what is going on in your own mind. There's a thing called, called thought disruption. It means that your thought patterns are so disrupted that you don't know what you're thinking. I wish I can explain it to you, but I can't. 
I can't explain it to you. It's like... Looking at what I'm looking at now, and it seems spiced out. And it seems as if though there's pressure in the air. And everything seems slowed down and enlarged. I'm not embarrassed to show this to the people that are watching. I'm not. It's not something to be ashamed of, to be ill. It's not. What gets to me is the damage that you cause to your own life when you're that ill. And people don't get it. They, they don't. They'll say, chin up, go for a walk, go and have a coffee, if only it was that easy. It's not. The only thing that I can do is to carry on. There's nothing else that I can do. I can choose to die. I've almost died before. I severed the arteries in my arms when I was 19 years old, to the point that when the paramedics found me, they couldn't even find a vein to give me blood. I was in hospital for three months. I was so sick. The same feeling that visited me then is visiting me now. The only difference is that I'm not going to end my life. Because who will take care of me? It is a brutal reality of my life. But I'm fortunate that I can still make this video and go back to my house an attempt in some fucked up way to carry on with my day because I know in a few days time I may feel better there's no guarantee but I usually do I'm one of the fortunate ones there's people out there that are so ill that they will not see tomorrow and people will call them cowards because they can't stand the pain anymore and they end their lives. So I wanted to make this video to show you one of the most private parts of my life. It's called psychosis and it's a dark demon that follows you all your life. It will be there for the rest of my life. But I am fortunate that I choose to carry on. So the next time that you see somebody that's that ill from an invisible illness Spare them a thought, because it's living fucking hell. I don't even recognize the man that I'm seeing in the camera. But I'll put on a smile, because I can. My name is Herman and I have psychosis. 
from an illness that will be with me for the rest of my life. Tomorrow is a new day and tomorrow I will carry on. Thank you for watching. I hope you get a better understanding. And I hope that you will fight with us against this. Don't worry. I'll be here tomorrow. I hope you will be too. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.